I want to share with you something really special for this memorial. Time is memorial. We can, this is a time where we honor those that have died in wars, those that serve. And uh, in remembrance of that, I want to share with you something very personal. It's about my dad. My dad served in World War II. He actually received two Purple Hearts, one at the Battle of the Bulge and one at the Normandy Beach Battle. And he almost died. He was found in a pile of dirt and they saved his life. And he lived a very, very strong life. He was uh, really a great, great guy. And um, when he passed, and when it was his passing time, I had the opportunity to be at his bedside. And, um, you know, while he went through his passing, which was not easy for him from the standpoint that he really loved his family, he loved his life, and he loved what he did in the war and what, and what have you. So um, I actually worked with him to help him cross and bring in the angels and the powers that be and his spiritual side to, to help transition. And when he transitioned, I actually took my seven chakra oils that I have made, that I blend myself, and I anointed each part of his body, each of his chakras, to um, honor in his transition. Now, one of the things I want to share with you is that in the ancient days, they used essential oils to help people in their crossing. And that was one of the reasons why I brought mine. That was one of the reasons why in doing that, I really felt the honoring of him, <clears throat> the honoring of his life, and able to help him to cross in a good way. And this is what we see in the tombs of Egypt. We see essential oils there because they knew that it helped in the passing, in going up into the ethereal worlds. So I want to share that with you. Um, and I also want to share that when I did this with my dad, he was in the hospital and uh, I anointed his, his body. I placed the flowers that came from a bouquet somebody sent in. And the doctors and nurses came in and they were blown away, like how beautiful it was that that sacredness that the smell gave, the beauty of the flowers, it just was really beautiful. And so I invite you to do the same. You have a loved one who's passed, it doesn't matter how old, you can take their picture, you can bring out the oils, you can just smell them, or you can anoint yourself and do it with intention and do it with prayer and do it with thanksgiving for the gratitude that um, these beautiful people are in our lives. So with that, I wish you all the best and aromatically, Patricia.